Now this shop is in Gala in the small narrow street full of hardware shops and shops uh, related to construction and rebuilding and whatever and here I'm going inside because I'm very satisfied with their products and this is not some advertising I'm doing I'm just telling what I think I think that this shop is really great and here is the stuff and here are the tools I will make a little tour to show you so this is a uh, China quality but it's high quality because China can do stuff which is cheap and they can do stuff which is very well done and the, this company is doing the stuff which is very well done I tried it I bought I bought some hammers I bought hammers from this company this one I bought this huge slash hammer and we used it on many rocks and it, it never failed it didn't break it's till now it was perfect one tool which I also bought is this hammer here. I bought a little bit smaller one. I guess I bought this one. And this this small hammer I'm using to chip off edges of stones and it works very well. It works better than the, the other type of hammer. I don't know why, it's just very good for chipping off parts of the stone. <coughs> and then uh, we see all kind of meteor hammers here. And, and today I want to buy a grinder because I, I want to cut the stone uh, otherwise I will uh, break it too easy with the hammer I couldn't succeed to uh, do the cut which I wanted to do so I'm quickly going through the shop they gave me permission uh, that's nice so I think these safety boots are not used by so many people, but there are some places where they have to have them by the rules of their company. Otherwise, it's not really enforced. So, I mean, now I'm not showing all the products in detail. I'm just giving an idea of uh, what is possible to find here, because there are some people desperate to find some tools which will last longer than the cheap crop which you can find unfortunately in too much quantity on the island. I see so many uh, worker masons having tools which are really not well done. I don't know if it's because they have no money or because they just get used to them. Here's the collection of tools for mechanics. Oh, I will need a disc. Uh, could you please show me the diamond disc uh, suitable for granite cutting? Granite cutting. Yeah. That's, uh, granite. Take your time. Huh? Ah, here is written diamond disc. Maybe this is the one, no? I, it looks to me like something. Point. I need the one which is uh, really strong because I, I want to be safe, you know. I look after. I, may, I finish the video. Okay, looks like it's somewhere here in this area. I'll check myself also. Uh, and here are drills. So stone drills, metal drills wood drills wow also the water levels till now I never saw a, a water level in such a good condition uh, on this island and here screwdrivers screwdrivers tools to cut tiles it's a diesel generator well, diesel is not expensive in Sri Lanka. Ah, he's a light in charge. This one. Measuring tape uh, for longer distances to measure, such as uh, plots of land and riveting machine. 
special pliers, wires, stripper, it's open. Oh. Okay, so you can imagine uh, that probably you can find everything you need in such a shop. What is this? Some special. Ah, okay, to put the screws in the wall. I need a pair of such gloves. Well, they are really long, but for cutting the stones it will be more safe. I want to cut a stone. Ah, the, the set to unscrew different types of screws. The helmets. Oh, I such a helmet. I see there is really like eight dollars. The toolbox. Oh, no. There's like everything in this toolbox. But today we don't need that one. Air compressors. Yeah. Straps to tighten things on a vehicle. Fat locks. All from that brand. Looks like everything is from that brand. And the saw to cut trees and boards. Very large. How much it cost? This big saw, the price is on it. This uh, De Daha, 2000 for this big saw. Oh my god, that's not expensive. This Labai. That's only 10 bucks. Iron saw. Uh, what is this? A kind of carton machine. Stand drilling machine. Battery charger. Oh, this is nice. Uh, what is this here? Air compressor for, for... What are people doing with this air compressor? Small air compressor like... Ah, for the car, for, for the tires. This is for tires, pumping tires. Ah, okay, so you can put it on your car battery. Let's say you have a car which is having a flat tire and you don't have a spare tire or every, several tires are flat, then you can use this one to pump up your tires again. Water pumps. Okay. That is what? Water pumps different kind of water pumps. Here are the grinder, drilling, cement and concrete mixer. Just this one is another brand, huh? This your, uh, another brand, why? Not have, Inco not have this model? Total. Ah, okay. Must be some contractor. Machines to polish surfaces. Uh, source, electric source, different kind of grinders. We have to choose one today suitable for the job I plan to do. Welding machines also. So we have these nice welding machines and the huge uh, side grinder. Huge, huge, huge. Now, where's your visit card, please? Thank you. I, I make a focus on this one. So that one. Here's all the backside. Okay. Thank you. I will do my shopping now. Huh? Thank you so much. So now I made the choice. Here I decided to buy the, what is this? Five inch you said, yeah? And a seven or this, what? No, yeah. What this is it? diameter. Yeah, how much is the diameter? Five inch. Five, okay, because there was a smaller one, so now we decide this one. And here we can see that for all the things for what it is suitable, and there's nicely written stone. It's written very small, but this thing can cut some stone. And it costs here in Sri Lanka only 710 rupee for the stone cutting diamond. Uh, lady 
testing this thing. I'm so this one has a guarantee. Yes. How yes. long? Six, Six months. months. Six months guarantee. I will have a look. So this is our grinder, which we will buy now. Uh, how much it cost this grinder? Thank this one, Kilo. Mm -hmm. How much? Ah, 5,900. I mean, this looks like a price to me for which you should already start to get something long lasting. Now. Uh, discount we also get. This, this price? Oh, you give me a discount? Yeah, 15%. Oh, 15. Why do you give me 15%? Discount. Because I'm such a good customer. Ah, because I bought something before. Oh, special season, no? No. Always discount. Ah, it's like a company discount for this month. Okay. So that's all what I will buy today, but we come back sure. So um, everything together, clear? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, anyhow, I'm happy. I'll stop the video now. And uh, we'll, we'll show the next part when we use that tool. Now it's time to get the bill. So here's the invoice. You see, there's the invoice, so we can see that we bought the grinder and all these items for this amount. Wait, this is all? No, there's more, no? Another bill? This, this one, another bill. Ah, another bill. Okay, there will still be another bill. The glasses, the nice gloves, the uh, stamp. Oh, and I got these discs. And they're still stamping more and stamps. Harvey. Oh, flexion. And this is paid, so we have a grinder, we have a pair of gloss, glo gloves which look like a little bit leather style. I'm not sure if it's really leather, but it smells like it. There's this um, safety goggles uh, and still coming my small hammer. Now this one I couldn't resist. This says how much only that small hammer? This little sweetie, how much? That's uh, two euros, uh, two euros ten, two euros twenty or something like that. Can you imagine? So look how how nice is this? Not so easy to unpack, but I think I I can use it to a little bit chip off some very small areas without getting tired. Look my hand size. It's a nice little hammer. That one was just four hundred fifty rupees. Definitely not the price for such a nice item. The handle is like a pistol grip. Uh, now we can go to work. There's even a plastic bag with the company advertising on it. Hmm? You know all our, yeah, all our bills? No, because we have been a little bit uh, buying one step after the next. I have three bills now. But everything is paid. It's nice cloth. This one is also paid. Everything in the bag. Product is pretty. Goodbye. Thank you. No more. Balance, balance. Oh my god. I will take the balance also. Thank you. Opa. 10 rupees. Goodbye. Thanks. Opa. There we go, outside again. So now I am using these uh, nice tools. Let's see how they will work. I will cut the stone and uh, somebody will help me to hold the phone to make that video. This is my hands enough. So I was already drawing the line. I was thinking that this will look well enough to make a keystone. So I divided the stone is 30. 30 centimeters and and 
then I just decided that on this side six will be removed and on the other side six two so the center is here and then the stone should look like that I mean I'm not sure about the result but let's try I put the glasses to be safe yeah and now we need to plug in this thing I should we must put the gloves also obviously basic you just film this area is enough I stick this inside it looks like this I put my nice gloves on now I have a water bottle here I was thinking maybe this could help to uh, make the cut more easy but maybe it will just wash away the, the, the line I was drawing so put the cable on this side now let's go ahead the music in the background will be disturbed but what can I do now this button is really not easy to and if you do this every day it's like very easy but I'm doing this now only once in a while it's working very well you just don't need to push too much to we must be uh, slowly getting the result because we are beginners now I check just the line which I was drawing okay this is like how many centimeters ah it's somehow okay and and this thing looks straight because if it's bent the stone is not gonna crack right so I will continue I will actually Lock, lock the door please sorry for my cameraman he will be full of dust huh? okay we continue camera ah thank you so we see that the the cut is pretty deep but it's not going through so I, I I will now take a tool and hammer this part off to see how it will break but the shape looks pretty much uh, well done later I will still round these edges because these sharp edges are not looking like something ancient so now I I have this little baby hammer which I bought for only two dollars and something and I I will just hammer on this one now to see how this will break off 
So one hand the camera, one hand the, the hammer. Let's try. Oh, there's a sound here. I mean, doesn't break off easy. No, it doesn't look like it's breaking. It's still too fat. Still too fat. I will probably have to cut the, the edge a little bit more to make it more easy. As I said, I'm not a stone uh, sculpture. So we continue because I want to make a, an incision here to make it more easy for the for the stone to break. that baby hammer which is for sure not the right one because it's much too small ah now we hear the sound change it's going off it's going off now we can hear stone is breaking up ah, i took this one off broken off okay so now one side of the stone already has the angle which I wish to get and now I will do this job here this will be my my pleasure because this is this is something if you don't hit too hard you can do it very slowly and without too much risk make this thing look uh, like it is uh, already many years this, this this cut area we don't want to have it look like this it should be having many little dots uh, similar to that surface so there will be a special tool now of course it will stick out of the mortar just till here so till till here will be the mortar and this will be outside and that area should look similar to that surface now just a little bit to still show you how are we gonna my other hammer the big one with the spike this uh meteor with this spike spike no no this spike hammer yeah this one now we have uh this hammer i will see if that one will be okay it doesn't look really like it's a little bit too rude but def definitely working oh this one is cutting much faster the edges but it's okay, it's supposed to be looking like it is already 100, 200 years outside in the wind and in the rain. Such a sharp edge could not exist. And then we come more close, more close. And we have this, uh, this, by doing it slowly, I can do it now since I'm not a professional you see you can manage it's possible to be done by a normal person and you have that tool in that same nice tool shop Imco that one was only $10 now the baby hammer 
just for fun to make noise. But after some time, especially if we work here, it's, I don't like the sharp edge. It's like the whole job is ruined if it's not round. It has to be rounded because it is, uh, I just said, it must look like old stonework and such cutting machines were not easy available in the old times, so they did everything by hand, by hammer on sizzle, and the sizzled hammered stone will have uh, such edges. I noticed that my protection, protective glasses are not having any condensation inside. I can see very clearly even though I wear glasses, eyeglasses, so that is also good news. So, I mean it's far from finished, but this is somehow starting to look nice. So this is the second cut done with this uh, IMCO tool and uh, I will make the back side now so that it is more easy to break off the stone. Now the cut on the back side is done. Uh, I think that it's not possible to be 100% sure that it is uh, in the same uh, height on both sides on the stone but uh, it will prevent I think the, cr the the rock from cracking on the surface so I, I just cut it a little bit according to uh, the ideal line and there, there there's a profile here so you cannot even trace a straight line with a pen so now let's break off the the part of the rock we don't like. I will do it from the front side. And I have my baby hammer, which I should use again because just so. Ah, we already hear the noise change. Learn from before. I mean, I don't need that small part. I want the main part. So even if it would break now. Oh. broken off and the, and there now ah. here I can see that I was making a little mistake because I was cutting from the back so I lost a little bit surface this is not a big deal here because this stuff I will be covered so the give me that just one second now you can see here the shape of that keystone what is not perfect is this area I will now hammer it round and here I will also hammer everything around you hold one second come hold a little bit hold yeah. uh, I want to show how to make these edges edges round now in here this very close now you see I have here a little bit made a mistake so it's chipping off that will not be, but I will catch, you come back now, I will, I will catch up uh, by rounding this edge and then it will not be so shocking. I want this to be much more round. Now it's really cutting. supposed to look modern so it's a little bit damaged there will be some mortar coming also so always a good excuse how to hide the bad done job because I'm not a professional so 
Well, and we have that other hammer here. This one, which I'm using to that this was not well cut but so this is what I will do I will a little bit try to make a structure in there cut, breaking the edges of the big hammer is for sure faster to break the edges the more I break the less I have to do that profile with the small one I mean the, the little points Slowly, we are getting to the result, which I think will be okay. Does not look new, does look old. Somehow we're gonna get closer to the result by doing this. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So now all is oh shit, there's something chipping off. Now it's all about making the, the cut edge with the tool look more ancient and I discovered that with this tool I'm doing it pretty easy. You see there are need to be these chips broken off I don't know why that hammer is really doing the job well if you know a better tool you can put in the comment section so that you know another one so this is how it looked before very very and here I must be more careful but just by giving some small uh, hits it, 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 it definitely breaks the, the surface enough to make it look like uh, the stone was chiseled and not cut. So, oh my goodness, this is going very much off. Okay, I must be careful. Breaking off my very easy. So here we have the same situation and the, the mortar will come to here. So this is actually already enough. Now other side, just to check. Uh, here you see I, it's a little bit embarrassing because I, di I did a cut too much on that side but anyhow uh, with the oh no I take the wrong tool now with the mortar and uh, all the other things which on this construction are not 100% straight it's going to be all right bit dangerous here because if this breaks off my whole job is ruined so I will work a little bit on this area to show you so this is uh, supposed to be the side of the keystone and by hammering and hammering and hammering and hammering I'm going to reach this structure and not this one this one is not what we want I'm just finishing now in front of you this this side here we have each hit gives a little chip that's good so I would say that is enough for the video so here we are having now our our stone which looks pretty much I a little bit like mm, but here it's pretty much okay and still I will not con uh, stop I will a little bit still I, I like to give the edges a little bit more round shape because it's uh, I don't know it looks just more interesting to have more of the curves on the front visible of the sides and this way I can also hide this mistake which I did on this side if I round the side more and the whole thing is just going to look perfect so that's it next, vi next video will be about how that stone looks when it is put in the position in a porch 
and an arch arch keystone thank you